Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, we will see one uh, memory design, one memory module design. Suppose the size given to design a memory module is 2 M by 32 and commercially available chips in the market are available of size 512K by 8. Suppose these size chips are there in the market and we are supposed to have a memory module of size 2 M by 32. So how to design that? that we are going to see today right so the next is so see in case of your 2 m by 32 memory how your memory is there that 2 m number of locations are there and after giving one address we should be able to get 32 bits of data after i'll give one address if i do a read or write 32 bits of data is required right 2M locations will be there. Now see, in our commercially available chip, the commercially available chip is 512K by 8. 512K means what? 512 means 2 to the power 9 and K means 2 to the power 10. That means in this chip, we have got 2 to the power 19 number of locations. And after giving one address, we can get 8 bits of data. Hope this part is clear. Our requirement after giving one address to get 32 bits of data and the second is the commercially available chip can give us one 8 bit of data after providing one address. So the point is understood. Now the first thing is see this one is a bigger size memory and this one is a smaller size memory. I need to design this bigger size using this smaller size. So the very first question that will come to my mind is how many such smaller chips I will buy so that I can have a this size memory. So first we'll try to address that. How can we do that? The bigger size memory divided by smaller size memory. If I'll do, then I will get what? The number of chips required of this particular size to meet this requirement. So see, 2M. 2M means what? 2 to the power? 2 means 1 and m means 20. So 21 into 2 to the power 5. 32 is 2 to the power 5. 512 k. k means 10. 512 means 9. That is 2 to the power 19 into 2 to the power 3. Understood? So 19. So as a whole what I can write? 2 to the power in the numerator 2 to the power 26 and in denominator I can write what? 2 to the power 22. So as a whole 2 to the power 3. That means what? As a whole from the market I need to buy uh, this. Wait let me check. 19 plus 3 is 22. 22 na? So 26 minus 22 is 2 to the power 4. Sorry it is 2 to the power 4. That means from the market I need to get 16 number of such chips. My first question is answered. That means how many such chips I will buy so that I can design this memory module. So answer is 16. How I got it? That is also clear. Now the point is how I am going to connect these memory chips so that I can meet my this required size. So here see to address that what I will be doing is see these particular chips we need to connect in parallel. Why? Because from this particular chip, I will get 8 bits of data. From one chip, I will get 8 bits of data. Then another chip I will take, I will get 8 bits of data. Another chip I will take, I will get 8 bits of data. So, what I will do? In parallel, I will connect 4 number of this size chip so that each of them can give me 8, 8 bits of data. Together, they will comprise 32 bits of result, right? So, the first thing is from the market, I will buy 16 number of chips. Then, out of these 16 chips, what I will be doing? I will be making one matrix arrangement that is row by column. I will connect these chips and in a column, I will be having four number of chips. Why it is so? To meet my data requirement. See, my data requirement is 32 and it can provide me 8. So, in parallel, I need to connect four chips. So that means what? I have got four number of columns in my matrix arrangement. And what is the total size? 
sorry total number of chips it is 16 so this 16 is nothing but row by column right and i know my column is 4 total is 16 so i can easily find out how many rows will be there it will be 4 16 divided by 4 is row is 4 that means 512k by 8 chips i will connect in four rows and in each row i'll be having four number of columns right so then i will meet this required size hope this part is clear so now i'll show you whatever i have told we have noted down see step one find out first thing is how many smaller size chips do i require to meet the required size so how do i find it bigger size see divide the total required size by the size of the smaller chip that i will do so that already i have shown you 2m by 32 by 512k by 8 so as a whole this whole quantity is 2 to the power 26 and denominator is 2 to the power 22 as a whole 2 to the power 4 so 16 number of chips are required sometime we may have to find out how many chips are required so answer is very simple bigger size divided by uh, smaller size whatever is coming is my number of chips required this is clear then the second point is this part is done next i need to see how many chips i need to connect in parallel to meet the required data size i am not talking about total size i am talking about the data size that means what in my matrix arrangement i will be finding out the number of columns so here see 2m by 32 so 32 bits of data is required but in case of this 512 by 8, 8 bits of data can be communicated from one location. From one location, 8 bit from this particular chip. So what I will do? I require 32. So I'll connect them in parallel. So four number of this particular chips will be connected in parallel to meet the 32 bits of data size. This part is clear. That is, we need to connect these particular chips in a matrix form where number of columns will be size of one location in bigger size divided by size of one location in smaller size. That is what? 32 by 8. Answer is 4. So number of columns is 4. Total is 16. So now we can easily find out the number of rows. So that I will show you next. Next is find out the number of rows. So number of rows into number of columns is nothing but total number of elements. So number of rows, I need to find out number of columns is 4 and total elements is what? 16, right? So rows will be what? Now 4, 16 by 4. That is 4 number of rows will be there. That means what? We will be connecting these chips in a row. 4 number of such chips will be there. And such, how many rows will be there? 4 rows will be there, right? So see here, how to connect the address lines? So see, the very first point, how many chips, how many columns. Next is how many rows. We have solved all this. Now see, in case of 2M by 32, how many address lines will be there? 21 address lines will be there. So to this particular chip, address lines incoming is what? 21. And in my commercially available chip, the size is 512K. That means 19 number of address lines are required. So what we will do, out of this 21, 19 address lines, we will be sending to the individual such chips. To so all the chips will give the address. Right? Now the point is, all the chips are giving the address. So which particular chips are going to respond for your read or write operation? For that, uh, that chip select line is going to help us. I'll explain this. So see, to get the value of this chip select line, see, out of 21 lines, 19 lines has gone to the chip. How many has left? Two. Two are there, right? So these two lines are connected to a decoder. And decoder will give me four particular lines of output, right? So if the combination is here 0, 0, this line will be active. If it is 0, 1, this line will be active. If it is 1, 1, this line will be active. And this line, in this line, will be connecting our chips. Right? We will be connecting our 4, 4 chips. So, if the combination is uh, this 0 and 0, then this line will be active. And 
19 address line is given to all the 16 chips but to your read or write request the uh, memory chips connected in this row are only going to respond because they will be active other chips will not be active though they are receiving the 19 bit address so whom we will select through my chip select line they are only going to respond because now we are working in a multi chip environment 16 number of chips are there so which chips are going to work whosoever are enabled how we are enabling a memory chip by enabling is cs line cs line means chip select line right so all these things again i will tell so see for 2m by 32 memory 21 address lines are required but for 512k 19 address lines are required so out of 21 first 19 lines means lower order 19 lines will be connected to this particular memory chips how many left uh, then for uh, this then to select a row out of four rows out of um, rows of this particular memory chips the higher order two lines that is out of 21 19 has gone the higher order two lines are connected to a decoder and the output of the decoder will uh, select a particular row from the selected row four chips of this will give us eight bits of data each meeting our required 32 bits of data so now i'll show you the diagram the points are discussed now we'll see the diagram so see we are designing this so we'll be sending what 21 bit address a0 through a20 21 address lines a0 through a18 will go to what to the individual chips these blue color rectangles are representing what 512k by 8 memory chips and these lines are representing what addresses so whatever address is coming that address will go to all the 16 chips how many bits 19 bits see this this is connected in parallel so all will get the address very fine whenever we will call someone in the class everyone will listen but whomsoever's roll number i will we will be telling that particular student used to respond so here what is the roll number here see question is um, the question will be given to the whole class but who is going to respond the roll number whom we will be asking so who is that roll number to find out that the higher order two lines are taking role so a9 a19 and a20 that means the last two lines will be connected to a decoder then decoder one particular line will be enabled depending on whatever values you are applying if it is 00, zero this line will be enabled if it is 0, 01, this line will be enabled, right? So, depending on this particular higher order value, suppose it is 1, 1. So, this line will be enabled. So, address is received by all, but the chips connected in this row, for them only, the chip select line is enabled. So, they will respond to the read and write request coming to this chip. And they, if it is a read operation, they will give out the data on this data bus. And they are connected to my external data bus and that will be taken for the next subsequent operations if it is a right operation data will come inside the chip where it will go to the given location which location whatever address is given here hope this particular is understood so see here whenever we are designing on bigger size memory using the smaller size we need to connect them in a matrix form how many columns that will be decided by the data size then how many rows total size by number of columns will give me number of rows in a row we need to select all the columns for that we are connecting the row to the output of a decoder which is enabled by the uh, whatever lines are unused from the main memory address because this 2m will give 21 bit address but 19 will go then two lines are unused those are connected to this decoder and that will help us to select a particular row right whichever row is selected from there data will inside data will go to the data bus or data will come from the data bus to the memory chips hope this one is clear so next in this on this concept only i am going to solve some more numericals hope you have understood this thank you